Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about the backing track function of Upbeat Music. Let's first talk about what sort of file we will use. In Upbeat Music we have a very specific file that we are calling an uptrack file or a .uptrk file. These files can only be made in the Upbeat Music app. There are several ways in which you could use it. You could upload an mp3 into Upbeat Music, download it as an uptrack file, you could send that file to your friends, students, family, they can put it in Upbeat and record along to that track. The other use that um, you can have with an uh, uptrack file would be to record a video of yourself performing in Upbeat. You would download that file, send it to whoever else you want to play along to, and then they can record to that file. Now let's show you how to navigate that, create files, upload them, and all that great stuff. Let's get started. When you are in an upbeat room, you're going to want to click on the settings icon in the lower left, and you have two tabs, personal and room. I'd like you to click on the room tab. Where it says recording mode, there are three options, quick, leader, and backing track. You'll want to click backing track. Let's start by creating a backing track for everyone else to play along to. Let's do a video first. So let's say you're a conductor, you're a lead musician, that you have um, something that you want others to record to. Hit record video, select an ideal tempo, hit continue, and let's record something for everyone. I am an uptrack file. Yes, I am an uptrack file. There it is. So there's your recording, and we can preview it just like every other time. When you're satisfied, hit continue. Calibrate, just as always. I am an uptrack file. Hit done. At this point, you're ready to name the file. So let's call this um, test2. Finish. And now what it's doing is creating that uptrack file. And now if you noticed, it downloaded to my computer over here in the lower left. If it didn't, you can hit download again, and it's there. So you are in a different tab here. Um, this is your main tab. This is your creating the file tab. So you can now close that tab, go back to the main room, and let's say we want to play along to that. You go ahead and click on the upload area. Find that unique file, we called it test2, I believe, video test2.uptrk. Open it, and once it's here, you know it has been loaded into Upbeat Music. And now you go back to your room, and everybody who's in the room with you will now record that file. Looks a little something like this. Hit stop, preview, do the whole calibration step using the preview function. For now, I'm going to keep going. It's going to upload that video recording. It's going to convert it to an MP4 just as before. And now you have your unique file. If you like it, you hit download, and if not, you hit reset and do it again. That is how you would create and use a Uptrack video file. Let's now show you how to do an audio file. You're going to go to the settings icon again. You're going to create a new backing track. Upload audio. So now, many of us have MP3s that we might want to sing along to or play along to. Let's just choose this, the Blue Bossa, just a C version, play along track. I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Now it takes you to this really important step that can be a little complicated. You want to make sure you can get a sense of the tempo of your piece so your metronome count in will align. So let's listen to a little bit of it and see if we can figure it out. All right, so that tempo's about... We're going to go down here and we're going to try to find that tempo. Let's see what this is. 
So that seems very slow to me, right? So let's go ahead, let's try to take it up faster. Uh, let's try around 136, see if we're closer. Closer. Let's listen to the original now again. That's what we're trying to get to. Here we go. Seems a little slow. Let's try 140. Okay, let's listen to this. That seems to line up pretty nicely. So if you look over here, this is important because MP3 files can't just be used um, completely out of nowhere. We want to make sure that you have the rights to upload and distribute that audio file. Um, this is just obviously for copyright protections. So by clicking this, you are saying you have the rights to use this MP3. Once you do that, hit continue and then you calibrate. Now in this specific example, there was a count in. So this is all that count in. But we want the beginning of the music to line up right here, just as before. So let's go ahead and drag it and let's see if we can get it to line up. It's pretty close. It's definitely not perfect, but it is pretty darn close. So let's go ahead and hit done. And we're gonna call this Bossa. Uh, let's call it Bossa 2. It's gonna go ahead and create that file for us. It's a .uptrk file. And once again, it downloads automatically to our computer. And if you don't see it download, you can always hit download again and it should show up. So now we are done in this tab. So we go ahead and close it out and go back to our main room. Let's upload that BASA2 file. And then we can, there it is. Hit close. And now we can go ahead and record to that file. So whatever you have to record with. Let's see what happens. Hit start recording. Let's just see how that worked. You can preview just as before. I think I might be a little behind. Let's find out though. Let's go to the calibration area and just see. It's hard to see. Remember yours is in yellow and the main track is in gray. Let's listen to it. Sounds like I'm just a hair behind. So I'm gonna just drag it a little bit. Let's see what happens now. That's better. So we want to keep playing around with it till you get it right, of course. Hit done. It's going to upload the recording. Once the recording is uploaded, it's going to create an MP4 just as before. And again, you can have many people in the room doing this at the same time. You will notice, though, that there is not a video track, but you will hear the audio track on the playback. So here we go. If you like it, hit download and you have it forever. All right, everybody. So there is a little bit about the backing track function of Upbeat Music. Thank you all very much for your time. Have a good day.